Trey, another road trip, another new city for you in your rookie year. I, we talked about it in Miami a long, long time ago, right? Like you were only a couple weeks into the big leagues. Anything different? <laughs> uh, not really. I mean, like you said, going to the different cities and stuff and checking them off the list, but nothing too much different than, than that. So, From the minor leagues, college, all that stuff, you go to a new park. As a third baseman, do you do anything different at any place? Not different, but just checking out how the ball rolls, anything that that might give you a little hint about what's going to happen there? Yeah, for sure. You want to get out there and you want to like kind of like test the line out a little bit, roll some balls down the line, just in case they bunt, see if it stays fair or foul, and like, you know, test out the grass a little bit. But other than that, no, just get out there and, like you said, it's a little bit different, the backdrops and whatnot, but it, it's still pretty cool. All right, so that's a fun, an interesting conversation we've had. I've talked about it a lot up there, upstairs, like the, the shadows, right? You, you, people always talk about the hitters having like these these awful looks, like as a, as a hitter with the shadows. Fielders, it's almost as bad, right? I mean, what is it about a shadow for you, like, and or a background, let's say, in fielding a ground ball? I think it's kind of it kind of just like dictates your first step, you know, and that first step can make a huge difference between a bang bang play. But I mean, just get out there and, and take some during BP and take some. Like, hopefully you get the first one in the game and, and make the play. The first step is a, is a big thing about how you play third base. You have a great arm, but you don't rest on that. And it's always about first step and, and getting that, you know, that good hop in third base. <laughs> you, you, you pray for a good hop I mean, the whole time. But, but the way that you react, it, it seems like both sides. How do you work both sides? Because to me, usually one guy, a guy is good one way, not the other. But you like it. Right side, you can go left side. Why? Well, I mean, during pregame, I mean, if you see me out there, I, I take balls at shortstop, and I feel like that helps me out with, like, just, like, the range part of it. Uh, obviously, at third base, you got a little more or less time to react, but working on my backhand from shortstop and then also the forehand and just a different arm angle, so I do that a little bit. All right, so what's the difference? Taking a ground ball at shortstop, backhand for the fan out there and, and using that arm and, and, and doing things. What, what is it for you that makes it translate over to third? Uh, I feel like it just gives you the ability to like just have like just move freely. Um, you know, sometimes at third base you can kind of just feel like everything's just hit right at you. Um, it's kind of bang bang, but you still have a little bit more time to move your feet. Not as much as shortstop, um, but you can you can like practice it and, and BP and whatnot. Obviously, shortstop, the athleticism throughout 162 different, no whole thing. But you ever look at CJ and be like, man, this is easy. I get, re I get so much time out here compared to over at third base. No, I mean, you. I think we were in uh, Milwaukee. He made that play right for the All-Star break, and he did, like, the full body extension. But, no, nah, I never look at him and say, hey, it is easy because you know the show he puts on out there, and it's special to watch. Last couple of weeks, it feels like the more and more you play, the more comfortable you are. We know about the gold glove in the minor leagues. But that's minor leagues. Take it to the big leagues and, and, and trying to do it every day. You're showing that every day. W what's been the like most comforting thing at third base? Nothing's ever comfortable. I'm never going to sit there and say that. But what's more comforting for you now that you've, I mean, you've been here for a few months? Um, I would feel like just like I feel like I'm getting into a routine of just like trusting my preparation. Um, I feel like that's what makes me feel comfortable out there on the field. Getting here early, um, doing some early work with Ricky, um, and just knocking everything out before the game comes, and then just going out there and playing the game of baseball. You guys have it nice, too, because we used to take ground balls. It was always during batting practice. Yeah. And, like, you guys take it, and, and you especially take it full speed. And I feel like you can look around the league and guys do the same thing. Not everybody does that, though. Like, what is it about taking it full speed for you? Uh, I feel like you just want to, like, I mean, you obviously you can't replicate a, a game rep um, during BP, but it's all about the timing. Um, you just catch, your, catch the ball, set your feet, and throw it over there. I feel like you can replicate that in BP, um, and just normal ground ball. So just kind of going through it. Actually, day school has, has never been part of me. Um, and so I kind of like to go out there and, and treat it like a game. Obviously, it's not going to feel like a game. There's no run or anything, but I like to go out there and try to feel like it's a part of the game. Another stand up here in the big leagues. You go down for a little bit. You rake. The mentality that you had when you went down. I've talked about this with Riley Adams, and it, it seemed like right away you went and played. But what was the mentality when you went down? Um, it was just going going down there and just and just figuring it out. I mean, obviously, yeah, I can hit for sure. Um, but it, it was going down there and, and just figuring it out um, and working with the Dobbit back that, down there um, and just figuring out the things I do well, um, controlling the strike zone um, and, and just playing the game. Um, obviously, it's you get up here, it's the same game, but you got to, I mean, stuff moves a little bit more, but you're just going to go out there and, and just compete at the end of the day. 
obviously there, there's a disappointment when you first get sent down, but did you feel at all like when you when you went back down to AAA for a little bit that it slowed down a little bit? Because you know things in, happen up here in the big leagues, it starts to go fast and struggle happens, yeah. and it goes faster. Right. Were you able to just take a deep breath for a little bit and just you know regain? Because that's what it looks like. For sure, I think going down there really helped me just like hit the reset button. You know, going down there like you said, slowing the game down, and also just I mean I was able to find consistency um, right. doing stuff down there. Um, my preparation, like I said earlier, just trusting that, and I feel like that's kind of carried on to up here. Isn't it crazy that you go through all this time in the minor leagues? It's not like you had a ton of time in the minor leagues, but you find a routine there. You get to the big leagues, and you're like, okay, I gotta stick to my routine, but like, it needs to change a little bit here and there. And finding that consistency in that has that been? Do you feel like that has taken over this this time around with the prep? Is having that consistent routine? Yeah, I feel like there's a fine line um, between like what you what you think is best for you and then what others are telling you to do. Um, but also, it's it's kind of just like going out there and just like just playing playing your game um, and, and just applying like the little things. You know, we got great guys in the clubhouse and they try to like, hey, try some try this out, try that out. And honestly, they've been tremendous to me because I've tried out everything they had for me and. It's worked. <laughs> it's clicked. So I, I feel like I keep taking it from them, and then eventually, hey, one day it, it's going to be there because I feel like every day is kind of taking a step closer and closer and closer and closer to it, but it, it's coming. I, I feel it. So it's interesting you say it because a lot of things, like when I came up as a rookie, uh, we had two hitting coaches, a little different at times, and it was like one thing after the other, and I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm a coach's kid, so I'm willing to listen and do all that stuff, but like, I did not understand how to pick and choose what worked for me. I didn't. So where does that come from for you? Because it seems like there's a pick and choose. Like not not saying that you you know better, but like okay, that works for me. Yeah. What what is that about? Like where do you get that from? Um, well, I mean, obviously like just just growing up um, and just doing it like that. But like I come here and I, I work on something and we work on it together and we go out there in the game time and then I, hey go out there and compete like just just be you we'll work on it we'll come to the field we'll work on all the stuff and all the things they're telling me like we look at the video and all that and i agree with it 100 um and it's just going out there and just competing um at the end of the day